Today is the first day of Babe's Turn Out. Good morning from Babes Right Out. It is officially day two, and I am not a happy camper. <laughs> the field that they had us camp in is full of weeds that have hella thorns on them, and uh, like I was worried about the thorns poked through a tarp, my tent, and towels, and put a hole in my sleeping pad last night. Super rad. Super rad. Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this like little recap montage thing of my experience at Babes Right Out. I'm not gonna lie, Babes Right Out was a little bit rough this year. There was a few things that uh, left a little bit to be desired. Of course, we have to remember that events like this are about meeting like-minded people at its core, not about the amenities. But not having to like find things to protect my sleeping pad from getting popped by thistles that would be nice <laughs> something to keep in mind um, when you're planning events like this so that water needs to be easily accessed for everybody the water was really far away from the campers and the places that we had to set up our tents was not the most ideal location if i had known previously i would have come better prepared fortunately i didn't have uh, the issue with food like a lot of the ladies did because i brought my own food because i know that events that are this huge the food truck isn't going to be able to handle the sheer amount of people who show up i am so glad that so many people were able to push through the not so great parts of the event this year and still have a really great time i hope that babes right out can improve next year there is going to be rough patches and hiccups whenever you have to move locations and i really still believe in what ash and anya are trying to do with this event um, and bringing women writers together i just hope that it's a little bit better next year I do have to say a huge, huge thank you to Olivia, aka Killswitch Queen, for bailing me out. Not once with the chain, but twice. First, uh, letting me stay at her house and use her tools to change my chain, but also uh, Saturday morning after the whole sleeping pad situation happened, my battery was dead and she had a jump that I could use to 
restart my bike and used up all the juice in that jump start to get my bike running again. So that was fun. I'm so, so grateful that I got to meet some of my amazing lady subscribers, including Bombshell Biker, which was super rad to meet you in person. And as always, getting to see Dizzy Desi and Kesswitch Queen again is always a pleasure. It's pretty neat to find out that there are people at Cena who know who I am and like the stuff that I do. And they gave me a 10C Evo to play with. So I'm very excited to share that more with you guys once I get to play with it a little bit more myself. I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. If you would like to support my content and this channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to videos like these. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I do have t-shirts, stickers, prints, all the good things with my motorcycle art on them over in my Redbubble shop. If that's not up your alley either, that is totally okay. I appreciate you guys just for watching these videos and I will see you later. trying to do an iron butt today and I'm just trying to beat my personal record so we're doing pretty good <laughs> I'm at like 625 miles or something like that and uh, we've got a few miles to go to Portland so I did it officially 900 miles exactly in one day uh, cool <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed Actually, no, I'm gonna shower and warm up my cold ass hands and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> Bye. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm still really upset about my sleeping pad. That was, that was a really expensive sleeping pad and there are a lot of holes in the bottom. It's fine, it's fine. Everything is an experience and you know, it's my channel, so it's not an adventure unless something went wrong. <laughs> I'm just kind of used to the things that go wrong happening to my bike and less to my camping gear. The slow and low whiskey train was fun though. That was a good time. I appreciated that. Did you guys see Mount Hood over there in the background? I drugged my parents up into the woods. Mount Hood. And there is my mommy. <laughs> And way back over there is my dad behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's picking up trash. We're good wilderness stewards. <laughs>